because we have both agreed that we're kind of on the go, but we're not actually anything, so it doesn't matter because he's there actually, but you know, I'm free to go wherever, but I'm going to this party with this guy that I met on Tinder right before I deleted Tinder. Like literally like think I added them. Um, so I'm going to a party with him and then I'm crashing at what's essentially my ex's place. Is this self-destructive, horrible behavior? Yeah, yeah. Um, am I going to regret it? Probably, probably, if I had to guess. Girl, you're going to get, oh, no, 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 no. We should specify that I have a very strict rule where I only fuck one guy at a time. So neither Colby, which actually, is his name Colby? What's his name? I should know his name. I'm literally, I'm literally going to his town to his friend's house for a party and I don't know his name. That's a bit of a red flag, Alexa, but whatever. But um, no, I have, a, I have a specific rule where I sleep with one at a time. So be just for, like you said, STD reasons, I'm absolutely terrified that if I fuck multiple guys, I'm gonna get an STD. And then, like, it's not the STD that's the fear, it's the not knowing which one gave me the STD, or, you know, the worst STD of all, a pregnancy, okay? You can't convince me that it's not some sort of STD right now. At my age, in my brain, I consider it a form of STD for myself, not for others. I would absolutely love if my friends have babies because I love babies, they're so cute. Anyways, I'm getting so sidetracked. I'm terrified that if I sleep with multiple men that I'm never going to know who the father is. If I do end up pregnant and I'm like, I don't want a Mamma Mia situation, you know? So we stick to one, stick to one, yeah. I feel like, you want to see the belly button piercing scar? I feel like that's a fair rule. It's actually a really small scar now, but it's just that little, little dot right there. And I don't know if you can actually see the inside scar. You probably can. Yep, there's that hole right there that connects to that one. It's just a little top part. See the little top part? You can see when I pull it up. If I put it down, you can't really see it. Haul it up, you can see it. Yeah. Um, so more than likely going to be a missing person going to a party with a stranger. No, 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 no. Because the f I'm getting my ex who's not really my ex who is my ex to get me from this party because this is his crowd. So these are all the people that will know him. So I like, I just be like, my goal, my thinking my thinking is when I get in the car with this guy, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, my friend's gonna pick me up because I didn't tell him, are you safe, what the fuck? Don't ask people that. But um, my plan is when he picks me up, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm staying at my buddy's, like, where's the address and stuff? And then I'll be like, wait, do you know Aaron? <laughs> do you know, do you know him? And then we'll see how that goes because he's coming, like, I don't know, I'm using scary dog privilege, okay? I'm using my scary dog privilege. And my scary dog privilege is just the fact that he likes to fight. Um, <laughs> so, 